jumping on um, while I'm editing this video, I just wanted to talk about the Pantheon thing because I talk about the tickets a lot in this video and I actually got myself really confused. So to enter the Pantheon is free, as far as I understand, but you have to pay if you want an audio guide. I didn't understand this, so I paid for the Pantheon ticket like three times on separate occasions, but I was actually paying for an audio guide, which was like, it was only like 15 euros, which is like seven pounds roughly. But yeah, you can actually go into the Pantheon for free, so don't make the mistake I did and basically ignore everything that I say in this vlog. Anyway, I will let you enjoy the vlog and there's one more coming after this and that will be the end of my Rome series. no one on the street so my hotel's down that way um I'm just waiting for an uber to go and see the trophy fountain so yeah i will show you when i get there so this is the fountain de trevi at 6 30 in the morning not many people around at all definitely worth coming it is a little chilly today but i still recommend and it's a lot bigger in person than i thought it was gonna be but it's super super pretty so we're gonna go down and have a look at it so this is the fountain up close, as you guys can see. Super well kept, super detailed as well, and not that busy. And if you were looking to get your photo done, there are benches so you can put a tripod on the bench. But yeah, how incredible does it look? everyone so it's about 10 to 7 everywhere is slowly waking up because it's a sunday here i don't really know what's open and what's not open um i know that because it's the first sunday of the month things are free so i'm going to hopefully go to the vatican later on um but yeah i just went to the trevi fountain as you guys can see it was a lot busier by the time i left i mean it will be very busy by the time i leave uh, by the time like you know everyone wakes up and stuff so yeah very glad that i got up at six in the morning to go and see it it's a lot bigger in person than i thought it was um pretty much living my lizzie mcguire life here so yeah i'm gonna go and see the pantheon now hopefully that's not too busy as well so i can take some photos and stuff but yeah come along with me to the pantheon okay so this is the pantheon at like seven in the morning hardly anyone here and you can definitely get your shot but it's in this like really really pretty square that has like lots of restaurants around and stuff um but highly recommend getting here very early if you want to get that shot so yeah i am gonna take some photos um and then find somewhere to for breakfast because i'm really really hungry uh, i want to get some pastries or something so yeah i'm gonna take some photos and then um, i'm not sure what time it opens yet i don't think it's open just yet but when it opens we'll go inside just sat outside the Pantheon having breakfast and I've got two croissants, one with chocolate and one with custard and they look absolutely delicious and a cup of tea so I'm going to sit here and enjoy this while there's no crowds and then go into the Pantheon. The Pantheon doesn't open till nine so I can just sit here for a while and just relax. I'm at the Piazza Novana, which is not that busy at the moment. It looks like it could rain at any moment, which is not ideal, but that's what you, you just have to carry on. Um, so here is the fountain, and then, um, I'm not too sure what this building is over here. But yeah, very peaceful. It is a lovely morning, but also quite cold as well. I thought I'd give you another look of the fountain up close. It's very intricate as you guys can see, but also really cool. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a wander around. Um, the Pantheon doesn't open for another 
40 minutes so yeah just gonna have a wander around and try to avoid the rain basically it is almost 8 30 in the morning and still there's like no one around um i don't know if it's because it's the weekend or because it's a sunday i don't know um so yeah very very quiet which is really nice to actually go and see some stuff and not have lots of people there it's also quite chilly which is why i've got my coat and a scarf on uh, it looks like it could potentially rain i don't have an umbrella so i'm gonna have to try and find a cafe or something so yeah just wandering around because the pantheon doesn't open for another 25 minutes um so yeah i'm gonna walk around and then head there and then i'm gonna head to the vatican after Okay, so as you can see, my hair is out because it started pouring rain, but that's fine. Um, made a little bit of an error and didn't book any tickets for the Pantheon, but that's fine. I'm going to try and book some for tomorrow. Um, my flight is not until 6, so I don't need to leave Rome until about 3, I think. Maybe I need to leave a bit earlier, but that's fine. Try and book the Pantheon for the morning. So yeah, I'm currently heading to the Vatican. I don't have tickets for the Vatican. I'm hoping I can just go in and have a look and not go into the museum, but we shall see. Um, currently looking to go to a McDonald's because I just want to sit down and regroup because <laughs> I'm very wet and stuff. So yeah, I will catch you up in McDonald's. I'm inside the Vatican City and you have to do like a kind of like security check to come in, kind of like if you're in the airport. Um, you have to do a bag check and stuff, that's fine. So yeah, this is the Vatican City. Um, very busy here as suspected um, but also like really cool to see I managed to get a tour well like an audio tour for the Pantheon this afternoon so I'm gonna have a look around here go and grab some lunch and then head to the Pantheon I think so let me show you a bit more of the Vatican so the Vatican City is actually its own city within Rome um, and this is what it looks like it is raining at the moment so you know the scene is not as great as it would be um and then yeah i actually thought it was a lot bigger than it looks but that's pretty cool and i guess when the pope comes out he talks like somewhere over here i'm not too sure because i've not seen the pope talk before um but they have got these massive tv screens up like around here so i guess when he does talk um they show them on the screens so yeah very very interesting um it is drizzly here but it's not too bad actually it was raining heavier earlier so hopefully there's some clear skies behind me so hopefully it clears up this afternoon that'd be really nice um but just gonna have a wander there's not really much to wander around considering i haven't booked a ticket because they're completely full um but yeah i'm just gonna have a look around and see if there's anything to read or anything um and if not i will head off somewhere else here is a better view of the vatican um from further away you can see kind of how busy it is even though it's raining um so yeah very picturesque um it's very peaceful here which is really nice but i'm gonna head off somewhere else now um and grab some food um i think i'm gonna head towards the pantheon there's a couple of restaurants over there one restaurant which i've been recommended although I'm not sure that i'm gonna sit outside because it's currently raining but there is blue skies behind the clouds so hopefully by the time i walk there the blue skies will clear up so yeah i'm gonna head out now and i will speak to you guys in a bit so i'm just in a gift shop looking at snow globes because they that's one thing i collect and also picking up some postcards so yeah they've got lots of things in here um if you're looking for keychains they've got lots of keychains um and lots of memorabilia and stuff and um lots of stuff in here for like gifts and stuff but also if you want stuff we've got lots of gladiator stuff as well so if you're you know looking for gladiator stuff that's really cool the magnets all different kinds of magnets so like everywhere you walk in rome there's something to see um just walking along this bridge which isn't exactly a normal bridge um yeah very picturesque lots of stuff to see um i'm just gonna head and look at some of the shops i think and then I'll go and find some lunch because it's still only 20 past 11 so still too early to grab some lunch at the moment. Just in more of the centre of Rome and I found like a shopping district with like H&M, Fendi, Gucci, Zara, all that kind of stuff. So I'm going to have a look around. I am actually looking for some trainers. Um, so yeah, let's see what I can find. This is what it looks like. You've got, I think the Spanish steps are down there and more shops. And then you've got 
H&M here, Fendi. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a look around and see what other shops there are. Um, because like I said, I am looking for some white trainers. So hopefully they've got some here. I think I might try and have a look in Gucci because it is my birthday after all. So yeah, we'll see what they've got. So I am at this part of Rome, um, which I'm not quite sure how to pronounce it. But it's very, very busy here as you can see. Um, and it goes all the way up there. Um, there's like people all the way up the top. The flowers are really pretty actually. You can see it coming out on camera. But yeah, super busy around here. So gonna go and find some food and then head over to the Pantheon. As you guys can see how busy it is. Don't really wanna be sticking around here for too long. So I completely got that wrong. These are actually the Spanish steps, which are super, super busy. And something about the Spanish steps is you can't actually sit down on them. So if you sit down on them, there are guards somewhere with like whistles and stuff. But yeah, super, super busy and I'm leaving right now. <laughs> I have come to Canta and Cucina, which is near the Pantheon, um, for lunch. And I ordered some bruschetta and some pasta, which is gonna be here in my room. Um, I did put the Pantheon for two, so I don't know if I'm gonna make that time or not. It's like quarter past one now, so I may have to like scoff down my food. If not, I did book one for five, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, I will show you when the food comes. It's a nice little like area outside. Very busy again, queues again, so that's a sign that it's a good restaurant. But yeah, I will show you the outside afterwards. So this is the bruschetta. So you've got standard tomato, some parma ham, and then anchovies, which I absolutely love. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this all up now. For the pasta, I got a cacio e pepe, which is basil, cheese, and pepper. But yeah, it looks really, really delicious. Good evening, everyone. It's half past five. I came back to the room after lunch and fell asleep, which is fine. Um, I rebooked the Pantheon for tomorrow, so that's fine because I didn't really have many plans for tomorrow anyway. But yeah, I was absolutely knackered today from getting up at six to go and see the fountain. Don't regret it at all, but knackered. So I'm going to get myself together not in a rush i'm gonna go find somewhere to eat for dinner i'm not actually hungry at the moment so i might walk somewhere for dinner and then um hopefully go and see the trevi fountain in the dark but it doesn't get dark around here till quite late so yeah not sure if i'm going to be able to stay awake for that <laughs> if not that's not a problem i can see it another time um yeah and then come back and pack because tomorrow we leave so i will bring you along obviously um i'm gonna get changed because i'm in my pajamas but I will see you in a bit. I'm all dressed now. I decided to go for a dress. Um, and I've got my, not my new trainers on, but just my trainers on. Because it's still a bit warm. And I've got my jacket. And yeah, I'm just waiting a couple more minutes for things to charge. And then I'm going to head out. Um, I think my plan is I'm going to walk down to the Coliseum. Try and find somewhere to eat around there maybe. Or I'm going to walk to... Um, near the Trevi Fountain and try and find some food around there hang out until it gets dark see the Trevi Fountain and come back because I'm absolutely knackered um so yeah that's you know I don't have too much of a plan um I don't think I'm going to go to Travis Day again because it's quite far away and I frankly can't be bothered to walk there so yes I will see you guys in a bit I've just come to the park opposite the Coliseum that I was at yesterday and super super lovely here not that busy and also the sun is kind of going down so it's quite cool which is nice um, gonna walk around the Coliseum and just see what it looks like and try and find some food or something but yeah you can see the Coliseum's like here um, not that busy at all at the moment so yeah let's go and have a look so here's the Coliseum at about six o'clock at night, so still quite busy. Um, but yeah, really, really cool to see. Lots of people down there. And yeah, very busy. This is just like at the top um, where some people are taking photos. But I still think the photo um, inside the forum is the best view you're gonna get because no one else can get that unless you get tickets to the forum. This is the other side of the Coliseum. You can see everyone's taking their photos, um, which is the one that you see on Instagram. People are just sitting on top of here and taking their photos. Yeah, super busy. They're actually doing quite a lot of construction around the Coliseum at the moment. Um, so it's kind of one way, but not really one way. Um, you basically enter like over here and then there's just like lots of walkways and stuff. But as you can see, still fairly busy at like six o'clock at night. Um, and then the forum is over here. So this is where I took my photos, which was um, like an amazing view. Definitely the best place to go, I think, because hardly anyone is up there. But yeah, I thought I'd walk past the Coliseum one more time before it's time to go home.
This is the flora up here, and as you can see, there's hardly anyone up here taking photos compared to like everywhere else where people are taking photos, like down below or like where I'm stood at the moment. There's so many people taking photos. Yeah, definitely worth paying a little bit extra to go to the forum instead of, you know, waiting where everyone else is to take photos. This is the Altar de Fava land, I believe it's called. Very, very beautiful. It's seven o'clock at night and still quite busy round, but as you can see, so much detail in it. And then this is the ring road. So the ring roads are actually not that bad. You kind of just have to like make your way across it. And there's lots of different zebra crossings, but they will stop for you, so don't worry. Um, but yeah, you just have to kind of make your own way. So I'm going to go and find some dinner now, but I thought I would just show you guys this one last time because it is stunning in real life and it's massive. I'm just looking in Tiger. We do have a tiger at home, but their stuff is so cute here. They've got like tablecloths and little like bowls and stuff. So yeah, just going to have a look, a little look around. I've got, you know, I'm not in a rush or anything. But yeah, I think it'd be cool to see what other things they have that we don't have. Um, in the UK, they have like these really cool like fans and all oh my, like I love like crockery and stuff. So yeah, lots of stuff and gym stuff. So gonna have a great look around and see what there is. Not sure how much you can hear of this, but this is a church, a very, very beautiful church. And I think we will go and have a look inside because we haven't been inside any churches just yet. So yeah, let's go and have a look. <laughs> I have come to a restaurant called Australia, which is very close to where I went for lunch. So the place I went for lunch is like behind me up there. Um, so I'm sitting outside, which is nice, but it is quite weird because cars keep coming past and it's like very pedestrianised. But also you get all these fumes and stuff. So let me show you what it looks like outside. So you've got all the restaurants with the lovely like lights and stuff. And then the restaurant I went to is up there. Um, I've just got a Sprite and I'm waiting for a pizza and then this is what the restaurant looks like here. So this is the pizza I got. It's got mushrooms, um, tomato sauce, artichokes, olives and parma ham. It did have egg in it but I took the egg out because I didn't want that. So yeah, I've got that and a Sprite and then this is my view. So pretty cool last dinner setting because um, I'm only going to have time for lunch tomorrow. Here is the Pantheon at night time. It looks absolutely spectacular. I think it looks great in the day, but at night when it's all lit up, it looks really cool. And then this is the square that I was in earlier, a lot, lot busier than it was this morning. Um, and then this was the restaurant here that I had breakfast in. So yeah, I might try and come back and have breakfast there tomorrow because I've got to be at the Pantheon anyway. So yeah, I just thought I'd walk by. I'm going to go to the Trevi Fountain now, but looking very spectacular. I have no idea what this is, but it looks pretty spectacular. It's literally, I was just walking down the street and you just like bump into this. But yeah, pretty cool. I'm gonna try and find out what it is because I haven't a clue. This is the Trevi Fountain at night time. It looks so nice, lit up, but honestly, it's so crowded here. I'm literally going to go in like two seconds because, yeah, it's too crowded, but it looks very, very nice.
Hey guys, I'm back in the room. It's almost half past ten and I'm pretty knackered. I have done, I think, 20, 20 almost 25,000 steps today, which is a lot of steps. But I thought I'd show you what I got today. I just got a few souvenirs and some gifts for people. So, I picked up myself some postcards. As you guys know, I love a postcard, so I'm going to put these in my frames. And I also have one of the Colosseum as well. So, they're brilliant. I also got this snow globe because I love snow globes. And this one is of the Colosseum, so that's pretty cool. Then, I picked up these um, lemon cello um sweets so this is chocolate and lemon lemon and then this is uh lemon with lemon cello inside so they're for like family and friends and then i picked up these small teeny weeny bottles of lemon cello so they were i think buy four get one free so i got 10 of them because a lot of people in my family like lemon cello so yes very excited to give them to people but i'm gonna pack in the morning so yeah my plan is i paid an extra 10 euros because i'm staying in a private room to check out later so i don't have to check out till one which is great and i think once i check out from here i'll probably go straight to the airport and just hang out at the airport because i'll be like really tired by that time and just you know i've kind of seen everything here for the moment so there's no point in me wandering around because in the morning i am going to the pantheon again to actually go inside the pantheon um and probably walk around a little bit but not too much because i need to pack and stuff so I've set my alarm for nine, which is a considerably like longer lay-in than I had today, so that's good. Um, gonna get up, have a shower, start packing, um, and then I can finish the packing when I come back, check out, head to the train station, which is like a 15 minute walk, jump on the train to the um, airport, grab some lunch, and then yeah, get on the plane home. So it's been a short but sweet trip. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty tired today, so I'm not going to do anything else tonight. I've just had a body shower and that's it. I'll wash my hair in the morning. And yeah, I'm going to get into bed, finish my book and go to sleep. So I will see you in the morning. 